Welcome to the third video of the ESP32 web server. We have already created an access point and a web server. Now we will add buttons to this web server, along with the different URIs to handle the LED. Let's look for the button code. Let's try this one. Here we have two buttons, so I am deleting the blue button. Let's add some headings and texts here. Let's change this button text. The click doesn't work right now, so we have to add the click to it. Let me try to check with google.com. So it did try to connect, and that's enough for us. Here we will enter the URI, which this button is going to refer. So if we click the button, it should take us to LED on URI. Here the LED state is off, and if we click the button, it should go to the LED on. There we will write the code to turn on the LED. So that's it for this button. Let's copy the whole thing. And we will paste it in the user CTX. Make sure you paste it inside the quotations. At the end of every line, we will put the backward slash. This is to indicate that the statement continues in the next line. Now before the double quotes, put the backward slash again. This is how the quotations are put in a string. Alright, now let's build it to check for any errors. This was the URI and handler for the LED off. We also need to create one for LED on. We will copy the same thing, and make small changes. We need to make some changes in the button also. We will change the button text, and its reference link. Let's change its color also. The LED state should be on now. It's perfect. Instead of copying this whole thing, I will simply make those changes here also. So that's all for the button part. Now we need to register this URI, just like we did the other one. Let's build and flash it on our board. Now connect to the access point and access the web server. So the LED is on, and the button is displaying the off option. Now the LED state is off, and the button is displaying to turn it on. You can check the logs also. Right now the LED is on, and if we click the off button, here you can see the LED is off. This is it for this part. 
We added the button code to the web server, along with the new URI to handle the LED. The next video will add the LED to this project, and we can finally see the LED control.